How's it going guys? Welcome back to Graham Games. This is the next game in my Amnesia Fortnite 2017 series, Kiln. It's a pottery based game where you build yourself a little clay fighter and you just try and smash each other up in an arena. It sounds like a ton of fun. I really like the idea of just having huge amounts of destructibles. If you don't know what Amnesia Fortnite is, I do have a video explaining it and giving my predictions of which games would be voted through in that process. It looks like this one might be solely online. I was hoping I would be able to play against some AI. I'm gonna host a LAN game and so I might only be able to just make a warrior and fight someone who's not actually there, like no one will be controlling it, but it'll at least be a way to show off the game. Bound to this mountain, I've trapped you in a never-ending battle. Sculpt a vessel from the wheel, fire it in your kiln, fill it to the brim from the fountain, smash those who oppose you, and extinguish your opponent's flames. <laughs> you just kind of barf on their flames. Only then will I be entertained. Maybe one day I will let you rest. Oh my god, <laughs> this dopey looking creature is incredible, plus he's got a butt crack which is just hilarious. Whoa, look at this big guy up here, he's just giving out instructions I guess? Damn, this game looks like the most polished one I've looked at so far. Oh, here's something I can inhabit. There we go, I got myself a clay warrior finally. So this is one that I was just able to inhabit. I'd like to be able to find one that I can totally just make myself. Well, the, the roll mechanic seems to be kind of fishy. <laughs> if I position myself correctly, I can fill up on water here. So now I got water sloshing around. I can, I can, I can uh, spray water on someone too. Just barf it out like that, okay. There, I can, I can attack and punch punch these other clay pots around even though there's no one actually in them but I smashed them down there I'm gonna jump down as well just to see how the smashing works oh so as soon as I smash I just get to go look for a new clay pot then I wanna try and build one from scratch hanging out in the coals doesn't seem to work oh wait so you have to inhabit the the wheel which I probably should have figured out let's see if I could not sculpt this up oh you're timed well how, how do I how do I get this thing taller I want I need it to be a little bit taller and then we'll get a little bit of a uh, little bit of extra beefiness around the top and tip there and oh yeah get it get it nice and skinny oh perfect this is really starting to shape up I'm just doing <laughs> I'm just doing whatever you know what to hell with it that seems perfect to me this will be uh, a great head placement and then the arms can just go on top here Oh, it's gonna be a masterpiece. Oh, how beautiful is that? <laughs> well, I didn't think it would look quite so fucking awful, but that is the worst piece of shit I've ever seen. According to this, it can still hold water. I gotta, I gotta see, I can get 27 whole units of water in this bad boy. Perfect. Just a perfect battle vessel. Let's just chuck that waste of space off into the into the abyss over there. There we go. Oh, now I'll get one so tall. So tall and so top heavy. Perfect. Perfect. Just just get a little bit of narrow it off a little bit there. Oh, okay. I'm getting I'm getting a little bit more of a hang of it now. Maybe not really because I just made it disgusting again all of a sudden. No, no, I didn't want it to have a little... I didn't, ah, dang it, I screwed that up after all. Alright, well his arms are gonna go way up top here. There we go, no one's gonna mess with this. There's that little platform, like that piece of shit one that I made on accident that keeps ending up over there. Well, this is just perfect. What gorgeous curves there are on this piece of pottery. That's not quite what I was going for, though. Oh, you gotta be, you gotta be kind of delicate with this. What if I throw his arms down at the bottom for a change? Eh, it doesn't make a whole lot of a difference, I suppose. Let's kick around that last one I made just to see how the destruction works. Oh, okay, the smashing of things is great. Something's gone horribly wrong with this one. Uh, panic, try and salvage it. Make something out of it. Now I can just tell that this abomination just wants to be killed. I'm gonna go re-inhabit this one just so I can kill this guy. Oh, now I 
got this big, bulky, fat ass with a weird little bit sticking out of his head because I kind of messed it up still a little bit. But this guy could probably pack a serious punch. Can't hold a ton of water. But I wouldn't want to mess with that brute. This is honestly so hard, though. You gotta be so slow and steady to try and get it. You screw anything up, and all of a sudden you end up with those weird busted up looking bits that I don't know how to fix. There needs to be a way to just completely restart once you make a mistake like that. I accidentally just made the Stanley Cup. There, now it's actually like perfect, to the best of my recollection. Here, I thought it would be funny to just try and make one skinny the entire way. Yeah, this is the funniest one so far. Hey, I think he actually moves around better than some of the big fat ones do. You're probably a smaller target, but you also just might actually move better. There might be a little bit of strategy to how you build your guy. Oh, maybe they still move approximately the same speed. Now what I should have done from the very beginning, build a clay penis. Damn it. Oh, God. Getting the fine little controls on this is so impossible. There you have it. Perfect penis. Perfect penis. I feel like I just made a chess piece trying to make a, a wang. Let's go just mess around punching up my big pile of reject clay pots over here. So the destruction's a ton of fun in this game. It's kind of fun building your different sculptures, messing around with that. This cute little creature with this tiny little pink butt is hilarious, and he just looks ridiculous. This game is actually pretty damn well polished. It's a shame that I can't play it online. It's only got online functions. Can't find anyone to play with right now. Very unfortunate. But this game seems to be the furthest along. Add some AI, add the ability to like maybe build at least your first clay pot before the match starts, and then some better way to like reset when you screw up a pot, uh, add a few more variances like when you're building your pot if, uh, you know, to the, the damage they do, the damage they can take, more so than just the water they can hold, it's add more variability like that. And uh, this game is, is well on its way to being something pretty damn fun. Not something I would spend a ton of money on, 5 or $10 range if it was put together well, but there's something here. It's a fun concept. I think this one's probably the closest to what the original concept showed as well. It's very close to the original pitch, which is really cool to see. I'm looking forward to doing more Amnesia Fortnite videos. I won't be able to do, I have no idea what I'm doing because I don't have a VR headset. And I don't have other people to play with. Didn't really stop me for this game, but the VR headset is the bigger problem. Then there was a few prototypes that were made by people other than the Double Fine team. So I'll be checking those out as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.